Hi, allow me to come back uh, again here to unpack the finance bill proposal 2024 in respect to the motor vehicle tax circulation taxes that has been proposed in the finance bill. It is my opinion that this is a tax that is going to kind of um, help the government to collect money that was apparently supposed to be collected by the tax or through the tax that was added on fuel, which you, Mwanainchi, uh, complained very hard. So I think this is a decoy for the government to continue collecting the same amount of revenue from Kenyans, but not from fuel, but from motor vehicle. With a, with a way of uh, you know, convincing the local Mwanainchi, the hustlers, that this tax is not your tax, it's for the Wadosi. And that narrative of the tax is for Wadosi, it's a very dangerous narrative. And that is the narrative that is brought about by the political class. Now, this motor vehicle circulation tax is supposed to be taxed to every vehicle that is on the Kenyan roads. Not road rev levy, but insurance based. Whenever you're going to renew your third party or your comprehensive insurance, your car or your motor vehicle is supposed to be valued and you're supposed to pay 2.5% of the value of your motor vehicle. Now, this is the reasons, these are some of the reasons why I'm against this tax. One, the government should not tax any asset. The government should tax incomes. I don't know why this government is running now to tax assets. Remember, when you buy a car, for example, from Japan, you pay import duty, you pay stamp duty, you pay uh, excise duty, and many other charges around importation of a car, including a number plate, which you are paying 3,000 shillings for a number plate. After you have paid all that, the government also wants you to continue paying tax on that asset, which is already your asset. Now, let's take, for example, importing a pro box. It will cost you about maybe 1.5 million shillings to bring a pro box in this country. Upon entry of that pro box, you will pay 750,000 shillings to the government through those taxes and levies I've explained to you. Then when you own that car and the car is now under your name, the government wants you to collect money for them and pay them every year 2.5% of the value of that car. So, hii serikali na kusukuma, mpaka hiyo gari wakati itakuwa mkebe, yani itakuwa depreciated to zero value. You will continue paying for that car. Yani, hii ni serikali ambayo inakuja sasa kuchukua ile mali ambayo wewe ukonayo. Remember, the spirit of taxation uh, directs that the government only taxes you for the incomes you are making. Now, having a car, are you making any income? I wish we would be given an opportunity to prove that I have this car, but it is helping me to bring income. Therefore, I can pay tax. But if I have a car that just takes maybe children to school, or a car that just takes my mother to a hospital, or a car that just transports um, um, uh, uh, children's home to school, you know, on a, on a, on a voluntary basis, on a, on a public service basis, why should you pay taxes on a car that is not giving you any income. This is against the justification of the spirit of taxation in this country. Now, what is the impact of this motor vehicle circulation tax to business community? One, he tax musiambiwe ni yawadosi. Wewe kama unatumia matatu, hii tax itakufinya wewe kwa sababu mwenye matatu akilipa hiyo tax itabidi ya kuongezee na uri. Wewe ambao unategemea malori ikulete maka, ikulete waru, ikulete cabbages for your business, Hiyo gari kiongezwa tax, ata yeye mwenye hiyo gari, ata kuongeza hile bay, anakulipisha. So at the end of the day, hii tax siyo wale wadosi, hii tax ni ya kila mtu. Kampuni za insurance zitasafa, kwa sababu, watu wengi sasa watakimbia, hawata ataka kuchukua insurance cover, na hivyo ni kusema, itakuwa sasa tumefungua mabarabara zetu, askari wa polisi wa traffic, watakuwa sasa wanakula hongo. Kwa sababu, ukipatikana na gari ambayo haina insurance service, si utasukuma na askari. So this is a way of opening up to more bribery and more corruption in our, on our roads. Three, most insurance companies will close down or they will retrench because business ya insurance itaenda chini. By the way, right now insurance uptake in this country is less than 3%. So to kiongeza hizi pingamizi tunaongeza kwa mataxi, it means then even the uptake will be lower. Na ya mwisho, mimi sielewi, kwa nini serikali ya Kenya inataka sasa kuja kutax assets? 
It means tukiwaruhusu wachukue tax kwa asset ya magari zetu kesho watakujia mashamba yetu. And by the way, I hope you know that there is a new land bill imeletwa kabunge la taifa ambalo linasema ya kwamba wale wote watu ambao wanaishi wanaishi kwa counties ambazo zimetengenezwa kama municipalities hata kama bado mko kule kwa kijiji kama kwetu Gidhunguri as long as you are within a municipality your stamp duty has been doubled from 2% to 4% that is to mean serikali tayari ishaanza ku tax assets zetu wameanza na mashamba wameongeza stamp duty from 2% to 4% wameingia kwa magari hiyo ni asset na ukubuke the spirit of taxation does not allow a government to collect taxes on assets you can only pay taxes on acquisition of that asset like when you're buying a plot you leave a stamp duty lakini sio when you are dwelling on that asset or enjoying that asset which you've already paid taxes for upon acquisition and therefore as a member of parliament i i am opposing the finance bill 2024 on the basis of motor vehicle circulation tax which is oppressive which is retrogressive which is punitive and which is going to be an procedural and irregular tuonane masaa hayo yengine nikiendelea kufafanua finance bill 2024 ambayo itakuhusu wewe